happy uh, Thursday morning. Yes, good morning. Hello, 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 hello. I woke up to a uh, a very, very, very nice update from Twitch as well. Um, I'll explain it all in a minute. Um, how is everybody? Good morning. Tune, by the way. Um, we have a vibey flight today. Um, I don't know. I'm sort of half tempted just to like stay live the entire day. I don't know. I, I've, I've published it as a split stream, but I mean, there's potential we could literally be here for all nine hours. Um, I don't know, because what else have I got to do? Let's be real. Um, good morning, everybody. Hello, hopefully you're well. Um, welcome down to Amsterdam in a KLM 789. Um, Sean is here, Sky Pilot Stream, Doggy, uh, Mediterranean, De Jaeger, Monkey, I'll get your resub coming in. Um, Manic Memory, good to see you, MVS, Luca, Alice, Jack, George. Um, good morning, everybody. Hello. All day, potentially, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, good morning, Olaf, as well. Hello. And Lily, yes, yeah, sorry, Lily's watching as well. I always forget about Lily because Lily doesn't have her own Twitch account yet because she's a two-year-old. <laughs> um, sorry. Hi, Lily. Uh, Monkey with the nine months tier two. Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Direct Sierra Papa Lima. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, Monkey, thank you very much. Your card declining tier three, but you're going for tier two, mate. Honestly, whatever it is, legend, mate. Thank you so much. Um, also, I want to... Uh, hey, Reese with the Prime. I uh, see Twitch have made so many changes, by the way. I will explain everything um, very shortly with Twitch. Um, I'm very happy with them, actually, um, because they've... I'll explain it. I'll show you the update and everything like that. Um, Say thank you to Mr. Bezos. Thank you, Mr. Bay. Literally. Um, Reese as well. I think Mr. Bezos is genuinely... I don't know if he's had... I don't think he would have had any, any like, thought on this whatsoever. Um, I'll show you the update notes anyway in a minute with Twitch. Um, thank you very much, Reese, your Twitch Prime. Second resub of the day, and we've literally been live, like, seven minutes. But actually, no, to be fair, like two, because five of those have been the bloody intro. Thank you so much, Reese. How are you? Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, she's got about 11 years to go, Alice. <laughs> I'm not wishing Lily's life away, but you can't get a Twitch account until you're 13. So quite a while, quite a while before Lily can chat in here. Um, which explains everything, I suppose. Um, also, GSX profile, the, the, the stairs aren't going to the door, but whatever. We, we will slide upon that. Dommy, good morning. Hello, Dommy. How are you? Um, so, the update from Twitch that I've been waffling about, okay? So, do you know Partner Plus program? Do you know they hugely benefit streamers with, like, crazy amount of viewers and, and subs and whatever? Obviously, we fit under that category, but we don't have over 350 uh, tier 1 active subscribers or whatever you need for Partner Plus, 70, 40. Um, 70, 30 even. Essentially, Twitch have made some changes. I don't know when these are coming, but they will be coming up very soon. Um, basically, they are uh, removing 100k limit cap. Doesn't really, you know, doesn't appeal to me. Um, and they've also made Prime Gaming a fixed rate for everybody in the UK or everybody in a certain country. Now, the big one that matters to me... Um, yeah, gifts, of course, gift subs don't count. Um, it's only like tier 1, tier 2s, and tier 3s. This is a huge one for me in this channel. So, we're adding a new level to the program to expand the benefits to a broader group of streamers, i.e. Kenko. Streamers who maintain 100 plus points for free executive months, we've maintained that for the last, like, 24 months. Um, we'll qualify for a 60, 40 net. I mean, it's uh, it's only an extra 10%, all right? But 10% over the course of, like, a year, over the course of a month, it adds up. Um... But I also can also, basically there's like a partner, there's like a partner, a partner plus, and now a partner plus plus. You know, there's some streamers that are on the partner plus plus, which are on 70, 70 30, or they've now added and squeezed in this partner plus, which we're eligible for, um, which is 60, 40 split across everything, which is amazing, it's massive. Um, and then obviously they've also lowered the partner plus plus, um to 300 tier 1, tier 2, or tier 3 sub points rather than 350. So it's easier to get the 70-30 revenue split instead of the uh, of what, what it was like a, however many m moons ago, whatever. Um, basically, it just helps me potentially do this full-time for a lot longer. Um, we've already achieved level 1. I don't know when that... It hasn't happened yet, but it'll probably tell me a little bit further down, down the line somewhere. Um, that one's been achieved for like literally the last three years in a row. Um, this one, obviously, we can still work towards, um, but obviously I'm not as in such a dire situation to get that, considering they've now chucked that in there. Um, bits that, yeah, bit, bits are still one cent. This only applies to subscriptions. So at the moment, Twitch paying 50-50. So you guys pay, what, 3 99 for a sub? I only get, like, £1.99, £2 of that at the most. Um, and this will allow it to be 
two pound twenty, but those twenty p's over the course of however many subs, months, whatever, you know, that they help. They definitely help. So ten percent extra revenue from Twitch, which is massive, um, and that could also be increased another ten percent as well, which is crazy. Um, I don't know if there's anything uh, in terms of like when this is sort of happening. Um, but they've definitely announced it today, um, so I'm very happy with that. So they, they've changed the subscription model, but um, it benefits us massively um, because we get an extra 10% revenue from Twitch. And if I can take any more money from Twitch, I am absolutely doing it. Um, but there you go. Uh, Beluga, good to see you. Good morning. You're sick and feeling absolutely awful, mate. I hope we can uh, somewhat, you know, give you some boost of energy and... Uh... I don't know. I, I hope you feel better soon, really. But um, good to see you, though, Beluga. Good morning. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Can you send me this link? It's in my general chat, Monkey. If you're on my Discord server, go on the general chat. I think Max posted it Um, uh, however long ago. Um, There you go. Qualification begins in February. We, we'll, we'll start in May. Oh, so I still have to prove that I've got another free... It doesn't happen till May. Oh, that's a bit shit. Oh, well, whatever. Um, So I've still got to prove that I've got... Mm. That's a bit okay. Never mind. Uh, it's still cool, I guess. Lily's trying to feed you a quaver through my phone. <laughs> uh, Lily, I, I I appreciate that, Lily. Um, I haven't got a quaver to receive, but thank you for trying to send me and post me one. That's hilarious. Um, Saskia, hello, good morning. How are you? Welcome in. Hello. Uh, yeah, Vinks in links in general chat. There we go. Yeah, JB, it's fine. It's fine. I've got no idea. We'll see. I mean, everything on the on the dashboard still says 350, so I think it hasn't even been like pushed out yet or something like that. Well, you said it says February, so there you go. Probably February. Uh, Ian, what's the multiplayer mod called? Uh, Vatsim. Vatsim. Uh, top left. That's how you spell it. Network. Vatsim. Um, so yeah, I don't know if this split stream or not. We'll sort of decide as the stream goes on. Um, it's obviously going to be flying over water, and anyway. we'll see how it goes. Um, I want to do this flight for a while. It's normally done in A300 in real life, uh, but we don't have the Aerosoft A300, and we have no idea what's happening to that. Um, it's either coming in 2020 or it's coming in 2024. I've got no idea. So we've substituted it for a 789 KLM, um, and it's about a nine-hour flight, roughly, um, and it's St. Martin. Also, there's a Caribbean World update coming to Microsoft. I, I, I saw their tweet this morning. Uh, hang on, let me go on. Let me show you what they posted this morning. Yes, this. So, world update. Oh, goodness knows what number that is. 16 is the Caribbean, which is very exciting. I should have really saved this flight for then, but never mind. Um, so, yeah, I uh, I don't know if it's going to bring new airports, make all that the islands, photogrammetry or something, but I'm very excited about this as well. Um, you love the, oh, did I say A300? Sorry, A330. It's early in the morning, all right? A330, A3, A330. Ox, good morning. How are you? It will, it will slowly, it will settle in that your name's Ox, by the way. It might just take me a few streams to get used to it, but I will get there. I will get there. Um, yeah, but he is dumb. <laughs> Auto modded. Uh, the Caribbean, lots of island hopping coming up then. What's, what about, when about is it coming? Um, I don't know when the next world update is scheduled, actually. Um, timeline. Is it called a timeline? Development roadmap. Is it, it might be under here. Um, normally Microsoft Flight Sim like to give updates. Uh, it doesn't... World Update 16 TBA trailer. So we're getting the trailer in the next week for the Caribbean. Meaning it's probably going to come out at the start, sort of first quarter or second quarter of February. Um, yeah. So we're getting the trailer this month. It doesn't mean... Oh no, hang on. It says... Oh no, it does say World Update 16 TBA as well. So maybe we are, we are getting it within the next seven days. I really should have saved the flight till then. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The Caribbean still looks sick anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I go now, monkey. Thank you for your tier two again, mate. Have a lovely day. Whatever you get up to, have a lovely day. I'm just gonna see if there's a. Does anyone know if there's a GSX profile for a seven eight nine? By the way, I didn't have enough time this morning to uh, see if there is one. Like a GSX air aircraft profile or something, because those stairs don't really. Unless I just... Uh, GSX already updated. Ah, hang on. This must be it. I wonder if this is it. GSX profiles for the 789. Supports the variants of this. Oh, perfect. This is it. I found it. I found it. And then we'll just restart GSX. Bear with me. Let's get this installed. Um, what is this song, by the way? Let's just go to modern day stuff. Uh, right, hang on. I'm all over the place. If I go on to... Right, this. I'm not a robot. Start download. Get that downloaded. And then... 
God, someone remind me where these go. Um... No, is it Microsoft Flight? No, it's Virtuali GS so Airplanes. Hang on. Is it just in here? Must be. Yeah? If I've done that wrong, then I've done that wrong. Restart GSX, or hang on. Do, 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 do. If this works, I'll be very happy. Hey, we have blue stairs. That's positive. I don't know if that's any different. I don't know if that's anything we've installed, but that's sick. There we go. Hang on. This looks sick. By the way, Amsterdam is amazing. I love this fight Tampa one. It's sick. Right, please go to the actual doors. Yeah, we got it working. Let's go. I'm a professional flight simmer now. Nice. Um, right, yeah, flight plan. So, um, like I say, we might do split stream. I might sort of log off around Shamwick or whatever this is, enter Oceanic, and then come back a little bit later. Um, flight time's nine hours. We depart by 11, half 11. Land at eight, half eight. Sounds about right. You know, everyone's going to be here at home from work and everything at half eight. So it's going to work out perfectly. And it's a freaking St. Martin, which is a sick approach. It's so nice. Um, and we fly right over London as well, providing... Actually, it's a bit cloudy in the UK. We probably won't get nice views of London. We might do. I don't know. There might be a bit of London that's free. Um, obviously, if anyone wants to join me, I mean, be brave. Uh, I didn't expect anyone to because I literally announced this flight like two minutes ago. Um, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. Uh, if you want to. How many planes have you paid for? Uh, pretty much all of them. The only one I haven't paid for uh, is probably the Innie Builds ones. I bought... Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, this one that we're flying today is free. Um, but yeah, I, I, I pay for a majority of my planes. Uh, we are proud of you. What, oh, installing the GSX profile, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, I, I've gone for the Asobo. So there's two, there's two St. Martins that I have. One that's by Amsim, I believe, or, uh, or something. Uh, and then the other one's by Asobo. I've gone with the Asobo one just because personally I think it looks better. Um, there isn't obviously Heineken and branded logos in it, but... Still, you know, you don't really need that anyway. Uh, morning, Andy. How are you, mate? How's your How's your week been? Obviously, the best it can be. Um, but hopefully, one well, mate. Good to see you. You're flying Haneda to Ishigaki. Where? Where's Ishigaki? What country is Ishigaki in? Um, we might cross paths, mate. We might cross paths. Um, Diego, what do you mean you couldn't land? You're capable. You're capable of landing. Oh, it's in Japan. There you go, Haneda. Oh, that's quite a short flight then. You doing the return as well? Um... Monkey, I was on about the Aerosol Tofu 30, but if you want if you want to enlighten me with the Horizon Sim A330, absolutely. Unless you unless you know some inside information that I'm not allowed to share with the community. <laughs> I don't know why you would ever trust me with information that's like somewhat in an envelope, but yeah. Um Oh you're not ah, oh, that makes sense, Diego. Okay. I thought you were saying that your flying ability didn't allow it, and I was like, everyone's capable, but yeah, if you're out then the plane will definitely be circling the skies and not land itself. Um, southernmost island sim brief says block time free. Oh, in which case it's not a short flight at all. I just thought Haneda was close to Japan. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, oh no, Haneda isn't Japan, is it? Is Haneda Tokyo? No. Haneda, Tokyo, Haneda. Haneda? Yeah. Oh, I, I, hang on. The other airport you're on about. Um, Nick, good morning. Hello, welcome in. Is this seven? This is the nine. This is the dash nine. Yeah, we're not in the Kuro. So Horizon Sim made the dash nine. Uh, Kuro made the dash eight. Um, but yeah, we're we're in a very nice looking livery as well. It looks amazing. Let me turn up the sound of the sim as well. Um, Ian, please. Sorry, I know the inside information. I am a community manager at Headwind. I run the plane sort of. Oh, you're yeah, but it's not the Aerosoft one. It's not as cool. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know. I know your. I know you take a lot of pride in the. In the headwind one. MG Twitch, thank you for the follow. Good morning, hopefully well. Hello, hello, hello. Um, have they do realistic sound? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've got this sound pack, so... The sound pack's good enough. Sound pack is good enough. Drone, good morning as well. Hello, welcome. Uh, not anymore, Mags. The KLM don't have the 747. <laughs> or do you mean the 748, the, the dash I? Maybe you mean the 8, 748. Yeah, I wish the 747-400 still existed, but... Unfortunately, they got rid of it and retired the plane. Sad, sad day. I'm going to sneeze. Am I going to sneeze? 
I feel like I'm going to sneeze. No, it's gone. It's gone. I didn't sneeze. Um, uh, De Jaeger, yeah, that's the one from Flatson.co. Yep, that's how I downloaded it. Um, so Saskia, I have a Logitech X56 and some rudder pedals. Um, if you look below the stream, you'll see all the peripherals I use. I only use an Xbox controller for the cameras. Um, I don't use it for anything else. Um, but yeah, I have a Logitech X56, which is a joystick and throttle, and then I've got rudder pedals as well. Um, the only thing we don't have is a yoke, and we're flying an aircraft with said yoke, but I don't have one of these massive yoke things, so um, I wouldn't know what to do with it if I did, to be fair. I've got no room in my bedroom. Um, but, yeah, I would like to get one, but I'm not paying Thrustmaster, like, 400 quid, so <laughs> they're not get I'm not getting one. Um, Oscar Oso, Oso Captain, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hello. Yeah, I know. I know a yoke's good, but I, I'm not investing that much money in, in a yoke. Um, but it's just over... It's just way too expensive, the Boeing one. Uh, Benson, good morning. How are you? Hello. Good to see you, as always. Um, so, yeah, we'll get the plane set up. I'm in no kind of rush out of here. Um, but we will uh, obviously get ourselves comfortable in here because we're going to be in here... Well, the the, the, the sim's going to be open for a while in here, but we should be good. Frames are good. We're on that sim. Frames are very good, actually. Um, and yeah, we, we'll get going and get everything turned on as well. Um, no, Flopsy, mate. I am... I, no. <laughs> no, there is some streamers that are very, very wealthy. Um, but I am, you know, I am kind of on the line of either doing this full-time or getting another job. That's kind of where it is. Um, why does Memo's Fest on Ultra look shit, but yours does not? Uh, I haven't got any mods. Does mine look good? I don't know. I mean, if you copy my settings, mate, then, uh... Your sim should look very similar to mine. I haven't done any adaptions. I haven't sort of... I haven't really done much on it, to be fair. Uh, it might just be the 4090. It might be frame gen. It might do a DirectX 12 as well. I'm not too sure. Um, you got mine for £250 on Amazon. The uh, R RRP is silly. Oh, sorry. You mean as in the Thrustmaster, yeah? I mean, I don't know. I'm not heavily invested in getting a yoke, but... It would be quite fun to get used to and learn, to be fair. Um, Saskia, cheers for the follow as well. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Flight Sim always looks better watching it than playing it. It's a psychological thing, is it? I suppose when you're watching, you don't. You can just sit back, put your feet up, and just enjoy the stream. When you're flying an aircraft, like, I mean, I, I don't really watch Flight Sim streams, like, ever. Um, which is bad, I know, but I mean, if if I'm flying all day, every day, the last thing I want to do is spend my evening watching a flight sim stream. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I guess, every I always find that everyone else's sim always looks better than your own one. It's just, it's the same as if, like, if other people cook you food, it tastes better than if you cook it yourself. I don't know. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing, I think, with Flight Sim. It's definitely that kind of thing. Um, Starbro, hello, mate. Good morning. How are you? Hello. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Saski, yeah, any questions, let me know. I mean, every aircraft on Flight Sim is different. Um, it takes a while to get used to, and, I mean, it's as real as it gets, really, in terms of setting up and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, you'll get there. It just takes time. Um, YouTube tutorials are the best tips. YouTube tutorials are the best tips. Uh, exactly, Alice. Exactly. Um, Andy, with 27 months, good morning, hello, 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 months, hello, ox, 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 love you long time as well, oh my god, the, I haven't heard, thanks Andy, I haven't heard the love you long time, um, thing in ages, bro, I forgot that was even a thing, my, uh, my friend Bradley always used to say love you long time, like, every single day, but yeah, it was like L-U-L-T, like shortened, wasn't it, or something. Um, guys, share the love in the chat if you can for Andy. Absolute legend, mate. Thank you so much. 27 bloody months, and uh, we need to have another catch-up. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Andy. Appreciate that. 27 months, legend, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why are you going to St. Martin? Because it's the best scenery in the world. And it's St. Martin. It's a vibe. Um, and also, I've yeah, it's, it's quite blustery, actually. Windy there as well. Um, drop me a message, mate. I will, I will, I will. I always, I have a habit of, on Discord, closing, oh, Monkey sent me a message, I forgot, of closing DMs, and, uh, and then you disappear from the direct messages, and, yeah. I do it to everybody, I do it to everybody. Um, oh, that's exciting. Okay, that sounds good, Mo that sounds good, Monkey. I'm, I'm down for that. Cool, there you go, I just spammed Monkey about something. 
Uh, long haul fog, indeed. Yes, I might be split stream though. Um, Aaron, good morning as well. Good to see you. Hello, 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 hello. Why not the classic KLM 747? Uh, because we don't have the seven. We don't have a good enough 74 in the sim. Basically, um, we've got the 748. We've got this. Obviously, we don't have a 747 400 yet. Um, but yeah, th there's not a plane in Microsoft Flight Sim that this is the best plane that I can think that would take us down to St. Martin. So, uh, I'll tell you what, as you're difficult, I'll mess it. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm difficult. You know, I am. Uh, Max, good morning. How are you? Hello, welcome. Yes, they do the A330, but we don't have the A330 yet because Aerosoft are, I don't know, confusing all of us with if it's going to be released in this sim or not. Um, I don't really know if they know what they're doing either, but yeah. Right, Flight Director Tunnel. Someone said how long to take off. Uh, when we get out of here, really. Um, we don't have any ATC, um, so that will speed up the process a little bit, I suppose. Uh, I was playing football yesterday and rolled my ankle real bad. I tried to stand up, my ankle cracked. Oh my god, that, no. Honestly, that gives me shivers. Crack better now, but just hurts so bad. You must have, like, twisted it or... Ow. Well, I guess don't play football today probably best give, live, give it some time to like heal because it's probably yeah well I, yeah i don't know <laughs> sounds painful david good morning hello you're welcome david i'm glad it worked for you there's some people that download my, my views and it instantly just doesn't work for them um so i'm glad that yours just like works you know so uh yeah good david i'm glad they work i'm glad they work uh look at this it is a squashed formula one car you should squash each of the pieces and put it together, Manic. I don't know if you can do that, if you've got enough points to do that. Try it. Um, request boarding. We've got air catering trucks in the way as well. Uh, do you want to board crew? <laughs> nah, I'll choose not to. We'll, we'll just have a passenger, a passenger flight to St. Martin. Um, I have to use a chair with wheel to move around. It's so sad. You've still got one good foot though, right, Starbro? You'll be fine, mate. You've still got one good foot. Uh, well, Amsterdam using Fly Tampa, the only one, the best one. Fly Tampa Amsterdam, Horizon Sim 789. It's just a, it's just a perfect, I love it. It's an awesome, awesome looking scenery. Nothing, yeah, Fly Tampa just, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Um, huh. Beluga, I'm hoping so, mate, but I know as much as you know about the PMDG 777. I don't speak to PMDG from, like, a streamer perspective. I really should. I should reach out to them. Um... But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm hoping the 777 comes out, uh, well, by Easter, but I'm not sure. It's, it's in, like, beta, and it says the progress is going well, and that's as much as we know, really. Uh, fly tampoon. <laughs> fly tampon. Tampon, not tampoon. Tampoon? What's a tampoon? Um, <laughs> no idea, no idea. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that, um... Yeah, the 777 would be good because KLM have 777s, British Airways have triple, like there's so many Emirates have them. We can do, obviously do Dubai again. Um, there's so much. Look how sexy this is. Look at this. This is hot. Look at that. Amazing. That that deserves a screenshot. That deserves a screenshot. Um, second day of doing Middle East cargo ops, DHL. Um, Bahrain, Dubai, Bahrain. I don't know where the first airport is though. And then on to Milan. Jesus. What do you do during cruise, David? You just in, do you just watch streams. I don't know. I mean, on my on my days off, I would probably. I don't know. I suppose yeah. I don't remember the last time I did a flight off stream. I genuinely think the last time I did a flight off stream was probably like at least a year ago. I don't. I don't fly offline. Never have. Never have. Um, all the passengers are on their way. Um, Sean, good morning. Hello. How are you? Hello. Welcome. 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 Uh, yeah, manic memory to fix that. Um, you need to spawn on a stand. So if you spawn, if you zoom into the airport on the on the world map, click on a gate rather than the runway, and you'll spawn on a stand. Um, or on the drop down menu at the top, I think you can select like you select airport, and then underneath the airport, you then select the gate. Then you won't spawn on the runway with engines running. Um, you'll probably spawn at the gate with cold and dark state, give or take. How long is the flight? Eight, uh, nine hours. Rounded up nine hours, so. We depart out of here by 11, get into uh, Caribbean for about 8pm this evening. We'll do it as a split stream. Um, and also need to do, f hang on a minute, how do I do fuel, 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 fuel? It's weight and balance, isn't it? If I go on to index settings, there we go. Okay, so, set from open flight plan. Request sent, standby. 296 passengers, which is exactly what GSX is boarding as well. 
Uh, 55.3 on the fuel. And zero fuel. Fuel weight 160. Three decimal two with a two reserve. Actually, no, we've got more than... We've got more than two reserves. Um... Three, four, five, six point eight reserves. Which is quite a lot. But then on long haul flights, I feel like you need more reserve fuel anyway. So it makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, could not do geotastic increase. I honestly, now we've got that record, I refuse to open that again. We'll do Qdle though. We can do Qdle or Crudle, whatever it is. I do enjoy Crudle. I do enjoy Crudle. Cost index 8. Thrust limit. Take off. And then flaps 5. Uh, CG trim is for 22. Now, we need to rem remind ourselves that we, we've got to set the trim. If I do it... Can I do it now? I can. I always forget the trim on the 789. All the time. Song battles. Also a possibility. Right, a 6. There we go. Perfect. I want to know how to fly the 789, but I can't get my head around it. I'm just waiting for the A380 and A350 at this point. What, what, what are you struggling with, Starbro? I suppose it is very different to an Airbus or Boeing, but in some light sense, it's very similar. It's just slightly different places. Um... Daytona, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't start yet, does it? The Rolex 24? Let's say, yeah, it starts this weekend. <laughs> but we're still streaming this weekend. Um, getting back to him right now, solid, I love it. Um, yeah, we're still, we're gonna do something for Daytona, don't worry. Um, Speedbird, thank you for the follow, welcome in, my spoilers are not out. My spoilers are not. Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, it's the first airport and I do work in the crew. Oh, there you go. Oh, you, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, but your flights are like an hour long. So, a li little bit of work, and then back to flight is sim, yeah? Um, which one is better, Horizon or Kuro? Well, the Kuro is a 788, the Horizon is a 789, so you can't really compare them, because they're two different aircraft. Um, yeah. In my opinion, the 789 I just prefer, because it just looks better outside, but in terms of developer perspective, they're both brilliant. They're both brilliant. Um, your spoilers lit- oh, wait, what? My spoilers aren't out. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 you've got a point, but- Interesting. Thank you. I don't know. I was looking visually, but they're still they're still folded in. Um, but yeah, FMC and skill issue. Skill issues everywhere. Um, I just used to Airbus. Uh, I just can't get the MCD thing. It's called in the Boeing. Uh, FC is it F FMC FMC FMC. Uh, departure runway two four out of Amsterdam. What's the active runway Amsterdam? Isn't there a website that shows you? Eham active runway. No hydraulics. That explains. That explains it. That explains it. This is the website. It is runway two four. Um, Aaron. Good morning. Hello. Happy Thursday. Welcome in. Hello. 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 Um. Good morning, King. They will never Here's fix it extra. Months, Kenkelof, Kenkelof. Legend mate. Twenty nine. That is the biggest resub we've had today. Believe it or not. Um, True Demon as well, sir. Let's go, mate. Good morning. Um, Aaron, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for your resub as well. Um, good morning, King, he says. We're both kings, mate. We're both kings. Thank you so... Yeah, maybe they do need to fix it. <laughs> Aaron, cheers for the resub. Appreciate that. Bloody hell, mate. This get It gets worse. What's going on here, then? <laughs> Bro's having a full-on party. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my days. How are they managing this? There you go. We'll get a bit of this on while it's dancing. <laughs> I've never seen something quite this bad. Uh, still enjoying the stream. I'm glad you're enjoying them, mate. I'm glad. Because, I mean, if this isn't entertainment, I don't know what is. Um, it's celebrating the sub. Exactly, Aaron. He's celebrating your resub, mate. <laughs> like what? I, I, I don't, uh, oh, this 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 actually happens in real life, guys. <laughs> I'm not. I just want to keep watching it. It will stop when when pushback's completed. It's disconnected. It will stop. He's high on something. Mrs. Clan, good morning. What's going on? I don't know. I'm just glad it's not my plane. It's somebody else's. Just let the Dreamliner do its thing. <laughs> I mean, it's not getting to St. Martin anytime soon at this rate. <laughs> now here we come. You spin me right round, baby, right... I'm just going to keep watching it. This is fantastic. Uh, 
<laughs> Bacon me crazy says Boeing quality control is getting silly. <laughs> oh, that's very uh, that's very kind of uh, up to date with the times. I do like that comment. That's good. That's good. It's almost done. I think. I don't know. Oh. Uh, imagine me A to C and C. Oh, 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 oh. No, he just wants to sniff the ground a little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, J Booth, I use an Xbox controller and I also edit the camera config file for all of my camera views. It's a faff. MSFS camera system is awful. There you go. And back to normal. Uh, <laughs> it's like an EV of the sound, literally. Well done, mate. Well done, sir. Thank you for the show. We will be back next week. That's hilarious. Um... Oh, uh, join the Kenko VA. Don't click that link. It's terrible. Terrible link. Uh, I'm waiting for the beat drop. Um, right. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's do that. Awesome. Right. Let's, um... Let's carry on getting the planes up because we want to get out of here. So we've we found out it is runway 24 for departure. Um, and it's the Valco Free Sierra departure. So Valco Free Sierra, uh, runway 24. Execute. And then we've got the arrival into St. Martin on runway 10, which will be ILS. There's no ILS. Uh, on a 10 then, Yulba 1 transition with a Manolo, sorry, you, you, Yulba 1 star with the Manolo, yeah, that will do, that will do. Um, Prostos, do something, there's a cyclone in Australia, I've been told. Um, do something in Australia. I've heard there's a... Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Why haven't we got any... Ah, there we go. However, we should probably use the performance takeoff checklist. We've I mean, we've only boarded 61 passenger, uh, passengers out of 200 and... What? That's crazy. Um, this is a real-world flight star, bro. Yes, however, it's normally operated in A330. Um, not a 789, but we can be different. Programming the arrival ready. You should be you should be consulting the Heathrow chart for that. <laughs> Um, yeah, let, let's, um, let's not, let's not remind chat of us doing that, Max. Um, that was quite funny. Programming the, I we programmed in the ILS for, like, London Heathrow, and we were landing into, like, LA or something. I don't know. Uh, exclamation mark, meta for E, hotel, alpha mic. Uh, one zero, one eight zero six. One eight, one eight zero at six. And then outside air temperature is 6 degrees, 5 degree dew point. QNH 1028. Um, flap config 5. And this takeoff or optimum actually. And then anti ice off calculate. We should get similar V speeds to what we were given. Might be so. 159, 162, 169. 15, oh, they are slightly different. We'll use these ones. These are better. 159, 162, 169. Six two one six nine. Um, what is our? There's no flex temp, is there? Doesn't really give us one. No. Cool. Um, what the fun? What it was funny if you programmed in the arrival before you took off. Are you not meant to do that? I always do that, Max. I always do that. Uh, yeah, it's it's good that chat can remind you. This is why I stream the flights because if I didn't stream the flight, then um, we'll be in a little bit of a dis different situation. And I wouldn't be able to get out of here. Chat are literally my checklist. You know that. Chat are literally my checklist. Um, right, flight directors are on. Runway heading for runway two four is two three seven. We got a little bit of a taxi when we get out of here, but that's fine. Two three seven. Uh, no, yeah, two three seven. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 two, three, seven, and then we've got one, six, nine here. Can I stop it on the time? But no, it, it ended too early. One, six, nine. There we go. Auto throttle can be turned on. Uh, Q and H. Uh, Hector Pascal's one, zero, two, eight. Um, do, 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 and we'll make that stretched. Plan mode. Quickly have a little look through this. I think we're all good though. Oh my god, it lags whenever I do that. Okay. Uh legs and then we'll just quickly step through them all the way over at the Atlantic over the UK and then into St. Martin which should look a little bit perfect there you go well the flight look there you go the arrival works Max I don't know what you're waffling you're only in the arrival and then consulted the wrong chart during the flight and reprogrammed it with Heathrow 
I'm going to probably do the exact same that today, Max. I would not be surprised. Um, runway 07 left have no pappies, the Daytona flight. Okay. I don't know what... We'll, we'll try and do something on Saturday, I think, um, for the Daytona flight. We'll try and make it like a full rotation in and out of Daytona, I think. That'll be a good idea. If we can make it like that, that'll be perfect. Uh, back to Matt. But yeah, Daytona's going to look sick. Um, obviously, the 24-hour event is happening, and I definitely want to fly some VIPs. Even if it's just like Miami to Daytona or something as simple as that, it will still be a vibe. It will still be a vibe. Has the music just decided that it just wants to stop on me? Okay. Bit of green light. We haven't heard this in ages. Um, Hassan, good morning. How are you? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Is that all we are to you? A checklist? Well, I thought you loved us. <laughs> You're more than a checklist. Don't worry. Your checklists, plural. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, right. 2000 is the XPDR code. Um, and we're good on everything as well. My favorite clip ever. Ian drilling, yeah, that was uh, that was a while ago, but yeah. Um, the cell temp is my flex temp. The cell temp. Go, oh, 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 we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we. Where'd you program it though? Forty-four degrees. Where does it go? Unless I don't need to put it anywhere. I don't know. I don't know where it goes. I'm good, thanks. Good, good, good. Best way to be. Best way to be. It's more you don't bother putting in a rival in as the weather. Side. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. Because it's such a long flight, it seems almost counterproductive doing that, doesn't it? To be fair. Thrust limit. Oh, here. Ah, I've never done that before. So if I put in 44 here, speed's deleted due to change in... Ten Hang on. One five nine. One six two one six nine. There we go. Right, we did it. We done everything properly, and we've set the trim. And we've set the trim. Uh, the laugh, star bro. What? I haven't seen this clip in ages. Hang on. You with this twenty-two. Oh my god, my micro, my microphone. Ian drilling. Oh boy. I do remember this clip, but my microphone. Unfortunately, 600 Ian has had views. some serious internet stability as of This was so many years ago, bro. Is simple. I sounded so fucking zesty. <laughs> that was four years ago. Uh, you do know you can just send the speeds directly to FMC. Uh. <laughs> could have told me that earlier, David, but it's fine. Thanks anyway. Um, still, whoa, 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 Alex, take a step back here. I am in no form, shape, zesty, okay? There's no way. There is no way. What was that laugh? It was an awful laugh is what it was. That clip is brilliant. I'm glad you guys get enjoyment out of it because I cringe watching myself all the time. Let's request push and start. Um, are we still boarding passengers or are we good? I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. We should get the jetway gone and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Um, split stream. Yeah, more than likely. Uh, is MK Studios Cork any good? All of MK Studios stuff is good. Um, so I can only imagine that, yes. Do I even have MS, uh, MK Studios Cork? Bear with. I'm ready to go. Oh, oh. Oh, I do have it. Oh. I've flown in and out of it, like, once. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Hassan, no, 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 no. And unless you just haven't been watching for the last four years? Hassan, were you here four years ago? Not quite. Three and a half. Three and a half. And you've somehow got 30 timeouts and five bans. Good record. You've probably, you've probably got the worst uh, criminal record on Twitch. In terms of, like, Twitch criminal record. Well, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, we, oh, oh, oh. Um, let's just enable all this. Right, I think we are good. I think we are good to get out of there. Um, <laughs> gotta pump those numbers up. Do you want to ban Hassan? Um, it, all, all Hassan do is have to say yes and I'll just ban him. It's fine. Do you think you got zero? I like the smug look. Are you a good, you are a good guy. Look, 120 messages, zero time at zero bans. Keep it that way. Keep it that way. I should probably go make a coffee, otherwise I'm not going to keep yawning. Sorry! Go make a Kenko coffee while you're at it for me, yeah? Cool, thanks. I probably will never drink it in my life. Right, we're good for push and start. APU, oh, that would help if APU was on, wouldn't it? Where's the APU live? 
Oh god. Why am I blind? Where's the APU? Oh, it's on. Oh. Since when did I... I don't remember turning on the APU. Maybe I did. Earlier. Never mind. Um, since when is there mic supplies from 70 euro? Well, it depends which edition you get. If you want to get the Dreamliner, you have to get the Premium Deluxe, which has always been about £60. Um, the default one's probably like 40 50 You've just missed out on the Steam Winter Sales, though, so... Not good. Um, it's not on. It's not on. It is on. But how we move it... Parking brake set, release parking brakes. But how do we still have power in the aircraft, then? I know it's not on, is it? But we should be starting it now. Is it? Does this say... Does this normally say, like, available, then? Hang on. If I go on to... Is it sister? Which one shows you the, um... Oh, no. None of these things show you the, uh... No, it says APU running now. Now it's turned on. Ground power's on. Okay. Ground pa Yeah, but I thought... Okay. The Horizon Sim must do it in the basis that... Um... When you're stationary, external power's connected. When you're moving, it's not. Oh my god! Who are you? I want to be flying your aircraft. That is hot. 1680797. I don't know who that is. I want to be in that right now, but I'm not reinstalling P3D. The forgetful Larry, I love you. That is amazing. It's a 747 It's my favourite plane in the sim. Oh, in real life as well. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yeah, it does, Aaron. Okay, cool. So we, we're good just to request pushback. That's what I say request pushback. We're just pushing back anyway. And uh, Amsterdam traffic. KLM 777. We're going to be pushing back. Stand Foxtrot 5 facing to the north. Um, right. Cool. Let's uh, get some dump a little bit. We're not going to be impeding anyone behind us or around us, are we? No, we're good for pushback. Awesome. Right, we're going to stop the music. We're going to get parking brake released. And we will get moving. I'm going to go mode TARA as well because we are a moving aircraft. And we're also going to get on the beacon light. Uh, and everything is good. Awesome. We're moving now as well. There you go. Uh, sorry, ski. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Sorry. Skip. It's because I can't say skipo. 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 I, I'm not, I don't know. I, I always say it wrong. So I'm sorry. I had a trip to Vegas booked on the 747, but COVID cancelled it. And it would have been my only chance to fly on one. Yep. I know. It's not fair, is it? COVID ruined the 747. I genuinely think the 747s will still be flying to this day if it wasn't for COVID. Or obviously, they would have retired probably this century. But uh, I genuinely think that we would still have them in the skies right now. Which is such a shame, because I would have absolutely loved to fly a 747 to Vegas. But never meant to be, was it? Never meant to be. Skipo. Skihipo. Skihipo. Ski I don't know. I w oh my god, bro. The engine's starting. Uh, right, engine two, engine one, fuel control. We'll get these bad boys started. How much will the seven three uh, triple seven cost? I might, I imagine around fifty quid. I don't think PMDG will charge any more than fifty pounds, just because how big of a marketplace MSVS is. I'm gonna say about fifty quid for the triple seven. I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, he definitely lost the will, the will to live. Seven four seven is nice. Uh, Rastique. I flew on it twice, but it's so bouncy in cruise. What on the? Was you on the upper deck or the lower deck? 80 quid, it's PMDG. Do you reckon they'll still charge that much, though, for such a target audience? I feel like they'll lower the price. Are you sure you're on... I am on... Oh, no, I'm not on Unicom. What? Oh! Now I am. Forgetful Larry. I was forgetful on that one. Lower deck. Okay, okay, okay. Because the higher deck's where the cab... Where the cockpit is, right? I think. And skip all traffic. KLM777. We'll try that again. Uh, radio check. We should be okay now. Hopefully. 
Um, can you hear me? Five five. Hey, there we go. Uh, Skipo as well. Hello, welcome in. Perfect timing because I still I cannot pronounce your name ever. Uh, welcome in. Good morning. Hopefully you're well. Good to see you. Uh, do you have it? Yes, I got. Uh, well, I actually got. I technically own two copies of MSFS. I have the media press release on the MSFS store that I don't use. Um, and then I've also got the Steam edition, which I paid for with my own money. Um, so I bought this before Microsoft gave me a copy. Uh, but I'm, in some way, I mean, I prefer everything on Steam just makes logical sense in my eyes. Um, 2,732 hours on record. Um, so yeah, I, I've always used the Steam one. Always used the Steam one. Um, look at the wing. I know, they went a little bit crazy, didn't they, when we stopped the aircraft? Just a little bit. Um, both good engine starts. We'll turn off the APU. Um, we'll make sure that's turned up as well. Wing light will just turn on anyway. And flaps five. They should be on their way down. Um, yeah, obviously PC Game Pass. You have to get it through the store as well. I don't think you can get Game Pass through Steam, can you? That would be a bit of a weird collab if you could. Um... I disagree about the 747, just the amount of fuel it needs. Companies are more interested on double engine planes. It, yeah, exactly. The, these days, I mean, obviously the 747 is an old aircraft. It's going to be costing an airline a lot more money than, say, a Dreamliner or a modern day jet or whatever. It makes sense why they got rid of them, of course. Um, but for us passengers and AV geeks, it's sad to see them go. That is a nice view in the cockpit, by the way. Look at that. Um... There's not really a difference, it's just I have all my games on Steam and it just makes sense to have them all in one place, you know. It just makes sense to all have, have them all in one place. Um, yeah, there is not really a benefit. Um, I think Microsoft, Microsoft Store, you get updates out earlier as well. Um, that's pretty much the only difference, really. Um, Andy, legendary. You might... Uh, I would say you probably would have... No, I don't think you would have landed in time. Actually, no, we, you, we will be about halfway through our flight, I think, when you've landed. Maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, based on previews we've got so far, look similar to the 737. Uh, oh, sorry, Pim, did you visual model of the 777? Overwhelming, uncompetitive. Really? Mm. As in, you're saying the quality of the 777 is going to be for the likes of... Um, yeah, I mean, the 737 is still decent, but obviously now we've been given things like the Inibuilds A300, they've set a benchmark that is much higher than PMDG probably can do. But, um, yeah. He was lucky and took a British Airways 747 400 from Heathrow to Sydney back in 2003. Um, oh, Northern Aviation as well. Hello, welcome. I haven't, I haven't said hello to you in ages. Uh, even Premium Economy had plenty of legroom back then. And then the population grew. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It went downhill. I mean, aviation hasn't gone downhill, but there's definitely, um, there's definitely a lot of, sh like, sad planes that we no longer exist. But, hey, I never went on a 747. I never will in my lifetime, you know. He's got an A380 this year. I've been on an A380, but just not flown on one. Um, I'm waiting for the 737 MAX. Yes, that will be good. That will be good. I don't know when that's... I think that will be way after the 777, though, unfortunately. Um... Where are we going, by the way? So we just pushed back. We're on pretty much here. If we taxi... Now, is it inners or outers at Amsterdam for taxiing? I keep forgetting this every time. Uh, right, so Alpha is clockwise. So we need to be on the Alpha taxiway all the way down to runway 24, which is down here. So we'll take Alpha all the way around, and then we'll skip across to Sierra 7. And uh, skip all traffic, LM777. Uh, we're going to be taxiing on Alpha to uh, runway 24. Uh, always taxi on the right side, outers. Oh, so, it, oh, okay, think of it as if you're driving on a European road. That makes logical sense, actually. I like that. That, that, that does make logical sense, okay. Um, how'd you go on A380 without flying? Uh, a Farm Barrea show, there was one of them on the ground, an empty one. Um, it was literally just an empty, set, a, a, empty A380. Um, and we just literally went on it and just looked around for like half an hour. It was very cool. Um, but, yeah, I haven't, obviously, unfortunately, been on holiday. I haven't been on a long haul. My, my first ever trip outside of Europe is this June. I'm 24 years old and I've never been out of Europe, so... I'm looking forward to going to Vegas, 100%. Although that is on a 777, not an A350, but... It's still cool. It's still very cool, anyway. You, I think you've been on a 747. What, when you were a kid, maybe? 
Uh, you imagine you're you're driving on the correct the correct side of the road. That's the wrong terminology, M Corp. The correct side of the road is the left hand side of the road. I'm British. Um, Hello, Hader. Good morning. Welcome in. Hello. Seven eight nine was pretty nice to fly. I need to fly this A three fifty now. Yeah, the A three fifty is newer than the seven eights, aren't they? I'm pretty sure. Hello, forgetful Larry. How's it going? Good to see you, as always. Love it. He's pushing back as well. That was well timed. You failed your VATSIM exam. Uh oh. You can redo it, mate. It's the Moodle course, isn't it? Just redo it. Redo it. I don't get to travel. Well, you you will be able to get. You will be able to travel, Hassan. Just you're busy at the moment. You will. Patience. You'll be fine. It was an A350 with Thai when I went to Cambodia. Oh my god, so good. The you pro to be fair, I can imagine the A350 is quite a smooth ride. But I'm not sure. Arm Batson exams open book. Uh, he's probably doing the pilot yeah, exam. That you don't you don't need to do the pilot exam. Um, you've been on a British Airways A380 from London to Miami. They fly their A380s to Miami. Oh, is that another 74? No. Not sure what that is. This is so cool. Uh, so smooth. I I I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to going to Vegas. It's a ten. It's the thing is, it's a ten hour, fifty minute flight to Vegas on a triple seven. I'm hoping that I get an upgrade. <laughs> I'll be honest. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. I I do, You know, it doesn't really matter how I get there at the end of the day. It's still gonna be a vibe. So. Manic memory, it's fine, mate. 66% isn't too bad. Redo it. I think you need 70% to pass. Do a vlog. I, I don't know if I've got confidence to video myself in public, but... Maybe. I'm not saying no. I know that Shot Kiev is vlogging his trip. Kevin's doing it, so... We'll see. I'm not sure. You need... Oh, is 80% to pass or 70%? Okay. Bid for an upgrade. How do you how do you do that? It's with British Airways, Rastik. Can... Oh, hang on. We're going the wrong way. I think we need to carry on this way. How do you bid for an upgrade? What? The bulk is real right now, eating when I'm full ready. See, I wouldn't have the mental capacity to do that, Brad. If I'm full, I don't eat. As simple as that. Nah, it's like you're force feeding yourself. You can't be doing that. I know that that's how you put on weight and whatever, but still, nah. Or muscle. Or muscle. I'll do, I'll do uh, the, the Kenko Lou review. <laughs> That would be quite funny, actually. Um, usually on Lufthansa, I go to upcoming flights and then they have the option there. Okay. I'll, I'll log into my British Airways account and see if there's anything sort of on, like, manage my booking or something that I can do. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, bro, didn't you notice the aircraft on its nose? Oh, I have. Don't worry. I have noticed that. I, it's, it's normal on VATSIM these days. It's a normal sort of occurrence. So that's why I haven't really crossed two eyes at it. But, yeah. Uh, morning, Kanzui. How are you? Hello. Gonna make my first coffee for the day. Enjoy. Is it Costa or Kenko? Or Nescaf or whatever other brands there are. Peanut butter on toast with blueberries and honey and overnight oats. This is what you told me the other... The, you told me about this the other week. I can't say I'm a fan of oats, but... I mean, if you enjoy it, go for it, I suppose. It clearly it clearly works and you, you, you know... You don't, do you leave any... Do you leave any food behind or do you eat all of it? When the Vatsim, it's not really a Vatsim fix. It's a GSX and, and Vatsim, like, collab, combined. Like, I don't think it is fixable, which is why they haven't fixed it in, like, four years. I genuinely don't think it's fixable. You never, ever leave any. Bruh. Check it out on this link. Oh, okay. I'll go to business first class on British Airways flights. Oh, my God. Hang on. I'm going to favorite that. Thank you, Rastik Legend. I will have a look at that after stream, mate. Thank you so much. Because if it's possible, I am so down. I am so down. Um, oh, Costa, get out of here. Um, but there you go. You're really selling me on this eye tracker. It's so good, mate. Honestly, I haven't done a flight without it in, well, ever since I got it. Especially if you're doing like a circle to land flight into Innsbruck. But enough of me selling it to you. Um, it's very good. <laughs> it does every access. I need to stop. Right, I'll, mute, I'll disable it for a minute. Um, and skip all traffic. Get them triple seven. We're just be holding short of uh, runway two four Sierra seven. If I just hold here for one minute, I need to get the plane obviously ready and everything like that. Yeah, good question, Alice, actually, as well. Good question. Right. I haven't even spoke to mum and dad. By the way, Alice, I haven't even said hello to mum and dad uh, 
all day. Right, stop here for a minute. Perfect. Right, everything in the overhead is good. We'll turn on the takeoff lights. Strobe light can be turned on as well. Uh, Matt, good morning. Hello. You're excited for what Toby has in store for next for this year? Oh, are we getting more products? You know more than I do. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, whatever it is. That's very exciting. That is very exciting. Um, my, uh, yeah, my normal ticket was, my, yeah, my normal ticket to Vegas was a bit more than 100 euros, mate. Just a little bit more. Uh, oh, my phone, my wrist is going crazy. Oh, okay. Uh, right, I'm good to line up. I don't think anyone's on final. And skip by traffic, LM777, we're going to be lining up and departing when we do fall. Oh you, oh, you have, oh, you have to pay money? Oh, I see. Oh, so it's not a free upgrade. You have to bid and pay more money for the upgrade. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that sounds serious, Brad. I'll be honest. A blood clot, a blood clot on his lung. Well, I'm sure they can help him out in whichever way form he needs help in, I guess. But it doesn't sound very pleasant. Um... Right, anyway, we are good on the overhead. We'll go and uh, go and get ourselves lined up and get out of there. UBA paying for royalties. I don't know. It's my first long haul flight, so I mean, I'm not really bothered if I fly on economy. I still get a tablet. Um, Ian forgetting something. Chrono? I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's the 7.4. Wait, Larry, are you also off to St. Martin today? We're not really lined up here, are we? Uh, Lewis as well, good morning. Hello, good to see you. Shame about no notification for weeks, though. Just click the bell like twice and reset the notifications. I'm not sure. Um, awesome. Okay, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that as well. Uh, totally not. Nah, just just had the same wave idea, mate, this morning. We both woke up and was like, we want to do St. Martin. Um, is everybody ready? I am. There you go. We lined up a bit better that time round. You should fly the 748, Manic. It's uh, it's much bigger. It's a more fun aircraft. Depends where you're flying, though, I suppose. It depends if you're doing a long flight or a short flight. Um, need to put something in the micro heave. <laughs> Bro, I'm not waiting for you. Let's go. <laughs> As to give more traffic, get to 7 departing at runway at 24. Let's go. Full sends in chat. You know the procedure. Everyone's already done it. Traffic here, and 50% stable. Toby, back in. There we go. And Toga. Is there a Toga button? I think that is the Toga button there, isn't it? Yeah, Toga, frost set. Here we go. And 80 knots. Check. What's ticking? Might just be the vibrations. And V1 rotate. Uh, positive right of climb gear up. I'm slightly concerned at that ticking. Goodbye, Amsterdam. Oh my god, keep the nose level. Keep the nose level. This thing is wants to fly. Right, nose level a little bit. The ticking has gone. Trim, we already set the trim. We already set the trim. I don't, unless it was... Unless I was... No, I wasn't leaning on anything. I'm not sure. We're in the air. We V1 rocketed out of there. Bloody hell. Plane wanted to go zoom. And skip our traffic. Uh, Caleb 7 we're airborne. Passing uh, 2,600. Right. We'll keep the nose level now. 180 through. The view, unfortunately, gets a bit more cloudier. It's quite nice over Amsterdam, but it's cloudy all around. Right, flaps all the way up to zero. Keeping that uh, that note that nose straight as well. Uh, did you turn the APU off? No. Oh, I did. I did. APU is off. I did turn off the APU. A autopilot one could be turned on through 4,000 feet. Initial climb is probably 4,000, but we didn't put that in. Oh well, we'll keep it on 10,000 for the moment. And we've got an auto save. Um, fighter jet, but not far off. Traffic, 
Yeah, not far off. Um, oh, Paul Vaughan, I can't wait, mate. Although that's departing St. Martin, though, isn't it? Or is that also landing? Can you also get jet blast from landing over the beach? I guess you can both ways. This sim looks absolutely incredible right now. Look at this. This is amazing. The, 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 there's something about Microsoft Flight Sim, the weather, like, the, right, well, ever since Sim Update 14, they've done something to the weather, and it just looks amazing everywhere. Um, standard pressure. And standard pressure. Checklist incomplete, yeah. Don't really, don't really need a checklist anyway. Um, 250 on the speed, through 5,200 feet. Awesome. We're on back, inbound to the UK. There we go. Um, wings look iced. Yeah, they always look like that. I think it's just the texture they're on. They do look a little bit glazed, though. I can turn on anti-ice, but I don't think we need it. Um, I think it's just for take... Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, but we could always depart out of there if we wanted to. Um, Air, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Uh, Air, no, I don't have any graphic mod. This is all default MSFS. It's just an ultra settings. Um, you can have a look at my settings there if you want to. Um, yeah, they're very... Uh, I mean, terrain level of details on 200. Everything's pretty much on ultra. I've, only, I've disabled things like blue, motion blur... Um, a few other little bits and bobs, but I mean the, the sky just looks scary, but it looks amazing I sound like I've got a cold as well. If I do sound like I've got a cold, I've got a cold um, Right 8,300 feet free. We'll probably climb on the range as well uh, Sorry climb on the range zoom out on the range. Also, I don't think that is that bit bugged I don't know, that shouldn't like that um, I hope not Alice <laughs> Because they came from you, didn't they? I don't know. That is, look at that screenshot. That is, in, that is incredible. The where is the sto is Storm Jocelyn still around, or is that gone now? I don't know where Storm Jocelyn is. Um, just trim tripped my whole tripped, and my ankle is now in so much pain. Why did you have to put that in a different font? Uh, if, well, if we do, so we've got two we've got two step climbs today. Um, initial climb is 360, then up to 380, then 400, so I'll do the step climb climbs throughout the day. Uh, 360 altitude will push that in as well, uh, and then hopefully that will continue climb above 10,000 feet. Landing lights off. I said them correct this time, not takeoff lights, they're landing lights. Uh, we'll turn off the wing light as well, we don't need that on. Um, we're obviously landing in the day as well into St. Martin, which should be good, which is why I've done this way around instead of the other way around, but there we go. It's, uh, it's buggered off, good. Next is Storm Kenko. I've, I've emailed Met Office to name it Storm Kenko. I'm joking, but that would be pretty cool if it was named Storm Kenko. Um, Jolene, Jolene. It's insane how well this sim runs on every system. Like, mine's 15. Mine with a 15... Is that an... In oh, I presume that's an Intel. And a 1662, but yeah. And it's very well optimised. Obviously, when Flatsman got released, it wasn't obviously as optimised as it is now, but they've really worked hard, Microsoft, to try and get the sim, like, working as well as it can on every system. Um, and it's safe to say that they've absolutely done that, like, 100%, so... I mean, I can't comment on other systems, but the fact that I still stream on the same PC that I... ...play Flight Sim on as well, I mean, that kind of speaks for itself, but yeah. Um, traffic radar isn't on, nor is weather radar, it's a very good point. I'm just enjoying the views too much, hang on. If I enable traffic and weather, oh, there you go, that's probably a little bit better. Thank you. Uh, this is Microsoft Flight in 2020, yes, to Toddy, this is Microsoft Flight in 2020. Um, 2024 is coming out at some point this year. I have no idea how they can make it even better than this one, but they will probably achieve that somehow. But yeah, look at it. Looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> um, there you go. See, Matt, little winky face there. I knew I'd like that one. Uh, so next storm, Storm Kenko is going to be a mini storm. Haha, <laughs> funny. No, I don't know. Are we, do, the, do Met Office reset? No, they surely, I say, Met Office don't reset to alphabetical order on the 1st of January because there's no way we've had five storms already. They must just carry it on, and then when they reach Z, they go back down to, uh... When they reach Z, they go back down to A again. Um... Heard a song called Heather on the Hill. No, I have not heard Heather on the Hill. Is it any good? You're on an i7 with a Asus... Is that a motherboard? And a 4080. Mate, love it. If you've got a 4080, you get something called Frame Generation on Flight Simulator, where it basically doubles your FPS. It inserts and injects a frame between two frames. Um, and then your sim looks even better, which, yeah, 40 series cars are immense. They're amazing. Um, we need to do Qdle in a minute, guys. When, when we get up a little bit higher, we're going to go and do Qdle, which is guessing the song in the era, um, because I love that. 
I'm intrigued about the mission aspect of it, but uh, may hold off until I've seen a lot of stream. Yeah, a hundred percent. A lot of real JS. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm obviously picking it up the second I can. Um, but yeah, the rescue stuff will be quite cool. I think. I don't know a hundred percent what they've got planned or in the pipeline for it. Um, but yeah, doing do it like it's basically making the world more alive. I think doing more sort of more real world stuff like that um but obviously all that time as well it's also obviously you know more photogrammetry better visuals better graphics and all that as well so it's amazing how far i mean if microsoft didn't release this game i don't i don't know if i'll still have the patience to stream p3d and explain i'll be honest i mean it's all we would have been stuck with i'll probably be streaming like p3d 6.1 i'm so grateful i'm not doing that anymore um you can get for yeah apparently you can bacon yeah i don't know how good or reliable it is but apparently you can get frame gen on every graphics card now or something i haven't tried it obviously myself but explain explain is good yeah 100 percent. i just don't see i just don't it doesn't feel a gap for me you know it doesn't feel a gap for me um hope there's more than three three four three or four missions there will be even if at the start there isn't as many as you'd hope, they will be. I'm sure they'll be releasing more and more and more. We've also got World Update 16 coming out, which is the Caribbean, uh, I believe, hopefully by the end of January. Um, and in, sight, in hindsight, I should have saved this flight for the World Update, but it's one of them, isn't it? Um, we can always do some island hopping in the World Update or something like that in an ATR or something a little bit smaller. Um, you're afraid of that sim? Uh, you can use text only, Benot. If you if you're not 100 percent confident speaking to people, um, you can speak to air traffic control with text. Um, it will get you started. Then you can also listen into all the comms and try and learn all the terminology and stuff if you wanted to do that. Some, um, or just fly around areas. There's no ATC and just be prepared that ATC might log in. Um, yeah, it's just it's just time really. It's the same with anything. Um, it's just a bit of time. Just a bit of time. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I I agree. Oh, that's hilarious. Because the, the call sign's KLM777, but we're in a 787, yeah. Maybe I should have changed the call sign for that, but never mind, never mind. I definitely do not miss PPD installing 500 add-ons, then having to reinstall everything every few months, yeah. the the ad I love Microsoft Flight Sim add-on linker is, like, the best tool in the world for me. Like... It, without it, I, I mean, obviously, some people chuck in like 800 mods into their community folder and just load up, load up thingy every single time. But with MSFS Add-on Linker, it's allowed me to. I mean, at the moment, I've got three continents enabled, which is probably not best. But you know, I can enable the plane that I want to fly when I want to fly it, that kind of thing. And it, it genuinely helps loading times. The sim performance is better as well because it obviously I'm only over flying airports that I you know, I'm technically flying and it doesn't have to load in all these third parties all the time. I mean, I shouldn't have a problem with the PC I've got anyway. Um, but it's very good. It's very, very good. Um, is traffic, is flight traffic control also on? Yeah, yeah. It's all multiplayer players, Saskia. Yeah, with that sim. So every, you can't, every plane that you see in the sim, if I was at like London Heathrow or something, you'll see loads of planes on the ground. They're all, they're all people in their own simulators at home. Also connected to their sim, basically. You see each other as like model matching. Um, Kenko, have you seen the sponsor of Eurovision this year? It's the Royal Caribbean Cruises. Oh, is it actually? That's awesome. My uh, my nan and granddad went on a Royal Caribbean cruise like five, six years ago around like Barbados and all these different islands. Um, they were they were away for like a month odd. Um, but yeah, they they uh, I've really I, obviously they, they've made memories from it. So, um, I use it to have my add-ons in another drive. So, yeah, exactly. It's also useful to do that as well. That is very true. Um, who wants to play Kudal? Because at the moment, the the views have gone a little bit grey. Um, I need everyone to tune in on this. So, there is six decades. Uh, Scott with 100 bits. Legend, mate. Hello. Good morning. Um, you see Mount Fuji. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Um, Scott, thank you for 100 bits, mate. Coming with 100 bits. Completely random, but I appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Good morning, all. Good morning. So generous, mate. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, right, we need everyone tuning in. So basically how this works is we play a song or play a section of a song in the different de decades and we've got to guess what song it is. It's different every single day um, and it's a lot of fun. So we'll do the 70s, we'll go from there. I think the plane's fine and stable as it is at the moment, so we should be good. Um, 70s. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Life on Mars. 
Life on Mars. I know, okay, there is people that know it. I want to get one of the David Bowie. Bowie? Bowie? I don't even know how you pronounce his surname. He's made some better songs than this, though, no? Surely there's better songs than that. Hang on. What's it? What's his most well-known? Under pressure. Oh, it's with a quiz. Well, that's with Queen, though. I didn't know. I didn't know there was a cover of this. A lot of these songs have been remastered, actually. Well, well done, well done to uh, Under Pressure. It's such, such a tune. Everyone knows Under Pressure. What was that? Oh, hang on. I need to check an email a second. Right, we'll go for the next one. Bear with me. I just need to check something. Uh, right, I'll do this now. Oh, oh my God. Don't stop believing. Da -na 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 -da -na 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 feeling. Da is it just called Don't... Oh, what is it called? Oh my God. Don't stop believing. Journey, yeah? It's got to be, yeah. Easy. Easy. Um, hit after hit after hit. Before my time, though, wasn't it? That's the problem. It was before my time. I don't know music history. Nope. I know that one, though. Right, 80s smashed. 90s. Come on. Away. Who who sung it? Charles and Eddie. There you go. Paul knows. Paul knows. That's being added to my playlist. Would I lie to you? Oh yeah. Hang on. Amazing. Tune. Right. Naughties. to you. You guys are just saying the saying the uh. Right, okay. Is it is the song literally called Golden Touch? That's an easy one. That's an easy one. <laughs> Razor light, there you go. Alex Des and Val's got that one. Well done. Well done, well done, of course. There you go. The golden touch, but I know you mind. That was 90s. Uh, that was noughties. Right, 2010s. These are more my era. George Ezra. Shotgun. No? Oh, maybe not. No. It was the wrong one. Uh, what's it called? My Love. No, it's not called My Love. Budapest. Hello, Ollie. Good morning. Or Paradise. Paradise. Twenty twenties, here we go. Please be a good one. Let's just skip it. Let's find out what it is. Bottle Rocket Briston Maroni. I, I don't even know who the artist is, to be honest. Let's 
<laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> the bottom of the barrel is the 2020s. <laughs> so true, so true. Um, yeah, Paul, I need to get the radio on more often, mate. That's what I need to do. Need to get the radio on more often. When you arrival, I'm just keeping a little side eye on the ETA in the top right. It says 2134, but I can imagine that'll be pulled back a little bit. Um, when we get, uh, when we go up another 1,700 feet, we'll get a bit of a bit of a more better estimate as where ETA is. If you think about it, we departed at what? Um, we departed at 11, so we'll be landing about 8 p.m. It's gonna be about 8 p.m. for arrival, so we'll go live. We'll try and re-go live again about sort of quarter to seven, seven-ish, like an hour before arrival. Um, and also, this is unfortunately... Unfortunately, this is the view we're going to get over the UK. But it's just very cloudy. Um, if I go windy.com. Yeah, literally, Aiden. Yeah, unfortunately.